How's it going everybody? Derek from Make Media Studios and this week we're going to do a quick tutorial showing you how we cut down music to fit your video needs. Let's get to it. Listen, I'm fighting a war here against YouTube and their algorithm. If you go down below and hit that subscribe button, we can beat that algorithm. We can get more people to see these videos. And it's only you that can help us bring those people here. You have to subscribe and you have to like, and you have to comment on this video and like the last 10 videos on the page. If you have that much time on your hands, you should do that. It'd be crazy. Think about how we can change the world. I can only imagine. Why don't we give it a shot? Go down there and hit that subscribe button. Let's see what happens. All right, so back to the tutorial, okay? So I'm gonna show you today how we can make music fit video needs, okay? I feel there's different types here, okay? I do a lot of corporate videos, ranging from one to two minutes long, okay? And these videos need music track behind them, usually like a corporate style music track I put behind them. And when that video ends and those last words are said and we throw a logo up or something like that, you really want that end stinger on the end of the music to end and complete the video. Because if you just let a music track, this is what I did when I started, a music track just keep going. If you just put like a constant power fade at the end of the music and it just kind of fades out, that would be like my very first videos that I did. I didn't understand that the best way to go about it is to find a cut point in the music to where you can bring the beginning and the end together so that the music ends with your video. It really impacts the video on a whole other level and really just brings a completion to it. And I think that that brings that video production level up ex exponentially. Now the other thing that I do is I also would cut down, let's say I'm doing a B-roll sequence or like a little 30 second promo, right? I did like my, I'll throw some up here. I got my White Claw one and I got this uh, Aperture one I did for my, for my new light when I got it and the Doritos commercial and other things that, you know, I've done, I want a 30 second version of a song. You still want that beginning, middle and end of the song to all come together, but you want it in a 30 second package instead of being a two minute, four minute package. You need it for 30 seconds. We cut that down. So let's jump right into it. Let's get in Premiere Pro and let me show you how I do those two types of music edits. All right, so this is like one of my most recent YouTube videos and you can see the music track here at the bottom, okay? This section here is my song. As you can see, you know, it's looped a whole bunch of times because the grand total of this video is about 13 minutes, okay? And I needed the music to last that long. Here's the original song, and it's two minutes and 33 seconds. So I had to make it loop, all right? If you listen to the beginning, okay, this is the song I used, and you look at the end. That's the stinger, all right, at the end of the video. And you're gonna wanna have that happen at the end of your video, but you don't want that to happen, how many times did I loop this? One, two, three, four, five, you know, six, five and a half times in this video. You don't want the stinger to happen five times in the middle of your video. You need that at the end of the video only, okay? So here is a cut version. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all these, and I'm gonna show you how I applied music to this, to this video. All right, so let's just pull in one track of music. There we go. And I'm gonna solo just this one right now. I'm gonna mute everything else, just so you can just hear the music. I already know it's a little too loud, so I'm gonna pull it down. Okay, music comes in. One of the things I always like to have at the beginning of my music, a little constant power, right at the front. I have mine set to two frames. I will pull that out and match my cross dissolve. So there we go. And there's my beginning of the music, okay? So let's go here to the end and find, listen to the end, okay? Okay, as that cymbal rises and that last hit happens, try cutting right there. I have a little bit of music background, so I'm able to figure out, you know, that that things happen on a beat of one usually, and things are are are, are in four count: one, two, three, four; one, two, three, four. So let's just cut that right there. Delete. 
Let's bring in the song again to the back side of this. Let's line it up to that beat where I cut and let's hear what it sounds like. It's a little bit too abrupt. You can see how that wasn't right. Okay, so let's figure out where the problem is. Let's see if, let's see if coming, if I cut there. Let's cut on that beat. Let's just see what happens. Boom. Well, bring this here. Let's see what happens in the music space. It's getting closer. You see, hear that difference? All right, so let's go in here and see what's going on. Let's try if we put a fade on there and see if it sounds okay. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, that would be a good a good spot. Let's try it again. Works. And now my music can just loop and you can find that same loop again and just add it multiple times until you get to the end. Uh, I'm gonna speed through that real quick so you can see it. Now we're getting down to the end, right? If we just pulled this out right now, it would be too, it would be too short, okay? Because the music, the video is still going on. So, but we want that ending at the end, all right? So it's Control Z, let's cut that. Um, let's find a part in the song. We're gonna need something that's approximately this long is what we're looking for. So let's go back somewhere in here and let's um, let's view something here. It looks like it ends. Okay, there's a, there's a one beat right there, right? You can just listen to it. So on that one right there, let's cut that. Boom. V. Option, let's pull one over here. Let's line up these two and see if they sound good together. Let's work on that section first. Works, let's throw the constant power on there between those two. Just something like that so it fades between them. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let's check the end here. How far did we go? Ooh, we went a little bit too far, but let's see what it sounds like. Close. I want to cut a little bit out of this. It's a little bit too, too close. So let's see if I can listen. Right there. Let's take out that section. Let's cut from here now. Let's take out this section, pull it here. Let's listen to it. Those line up. I just pretty much took out a count of four there. It, it, it one, two, three, four, just a measure, okay? I took one out. Now the music is just a little bit shorter. Ah. And now let's go ahead and turn this down just a little bit to get in the background of my vocals. And let's solo this. Solo if it did or not. Other than that, you have a great day sitting at home or whatever you're doing at work or in the car. If you're driving, put down the phone and look at the road. But other than that, thanks. Have a good day. It ends with the music there, all right? That's that's version one, okay? For a long form, something 10, 15 minutes, you're probably gonna loop the music a few times, um, and then you're gonna end on that stinger. You can use that same strategy I use to cut, move things around, listen for it to make sure it lines up correctly, throw a constant power crossfade on there, and you're good to go. All right, so two versions, right? We got a two minute song that we need to make last over eight to 10 minutes. That was version one that I just showed you. Version two, we now have a two minute song that we need to make down to 30 seconds. Okay, let's show that now. All right, so I cut four pieces together from different parts of the music, okay? So if I actually pull this entire song in here, let me get rid of this. Remove my in and outs. Let's get the in to the beginning of the music. In, out, let me pull the whole song in here, okay? So on the right hand side here, okay, this is the full song, and here's the 30 second version I made. These blue lines are the parts that I took out of the full song. As you can see, I have a beginning, I got two pieces from the middle, and I got an end. 
I put all those together to make a 30 second version vice a two minute or two and a half minute version. It's really all about tweaking it a little bit back and forth and really listening to what works. It's going to take some time with this and you just need to keep messing with it until it lines up. Before you put those constant power crossfades, the beat and the hit should sound as natural as possible. It should already be kind of hidden that you've cut the music, but the crossfade just helps it blend just in case it's a little off or you need a little bit of blending. Okay, so let's look at what I was able to create for a 30 second version. So that's the 30 second version. That'd be great for like making a short little promo video or commercial. I enjoy making the audio track first. I find a song I like, I make that 30 second version, and then I start thinking about with the music and what I wanna see in that commercial. And that's the whole next step. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this tutorial today. I'm hoping it helped. It was probably, it's, it's a difficult one because I have a background in music and not everyone does. So you really have to just listen to it. Like I said, beats and counts of four. Listen for that. Listen for one, two, three, four, cut on one. Okay, the new part starts on one. So you, you can tap it with your finger. Cut, okay, on, the, on, that, on that one. Almost the fifth hit with your finger. On one, you wanna cut. That's like the simple, basic music knowledge that you're going to have to learn to be able to do this part. All right, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, click down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I feel like some of you might like this video. Share it with a friend. This has been another Make Media Studios tutorial. I'm Derek, and we are out. Wait, stop. Look. There's more things that you can still do. If you minimize whatever video you're currently watching of mine and you scroll down a little bit, there's gonna be this red subscribe button. You know what you do? You click it. Just check this out, ready, watch. It's it, crazy. It goes from red to gray. Right? Blew my mind. I want you to check to see if yours goes from red to gray. Tell me in the comments below if it did or not. Other than that, you have a great day sitting at home or whatever you're doing at work or in the car. If you're driving, put down the phone and look at the road. But other than that, thanks. Have a good day.